This is Twit. Nokia's rumored and leaked Normandy Android phone is real, according to the Wall Street Journal. The phone will run a forked version of Android and offer a Nokia app store as well as installed Nokia-made Android apps and possibly Microsoft apps and services. With us is Maggie Reardon, a reporter for CNUT. Welcome, Maggie. I understand you're in a taxi in New York. I am. <laughs> well, yes. Th thank you for Skyping in under, under uh, duress and under uh, harsh conditions. Uh, the Wall Street Journal uh, piece uh, um, said the, about the uh, Nokia Android phone that Microsoft is making an ally out of Google. Is it clear to you that Microsoft is fully on board with the Android strategy? Well, I don't know if it's so much the Android strategy as much as this is a cheaper way for Nokia to uh, to build low cost phones. And I think that, you know, the strategy looks very similar to what Amazon has done with the Kindle. So I don't think that it's really Microsoft uh, getting in bed here with with Google at all. Yeah. So some of the articles uh, seem to indicate that this is something that uh, is a slap in the face for Microsoft and others, including The Wall Street Journal, suggested that Microsoft was completely um, behind it. Um, the argument is that um, Windows Phone, Microsoft's own Windows Phone operating system, can't really run on the really low-end phones that Nokia would like to, to make. Is that your understanding? Yeah, it is. I mean, the specifications for the, for the Windows Phone platform is a lot higher grade than, than for Google, so uh, for the Android platform. So it makes more sense from an economic standpoint that if you want to run on super cheap phones that you sell in developing markets, uh, the most cost-effective way to do that is to use Android. Right. Well, hey, it, it, go ahead, Kevin. Maggie, it's Kevin Tull with GigaOM. I'm on the show today, and I got a question for you because it seems sure. to me like this could replace the Nokia Asha phones, which is the, the low-end line right now mainly because those phones can't run any Microsoft apps or services. So my take is that this is going to give Nokia slash Microsoft a good foot in the door at the low end of the market. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it totally does. And, and you know, and that's a good point. I mean, I think that what we're going to be seeing here is, is a mixture of some Android apps that are, are you know, the basic apps that people want. And also, we're going to probably see some some apps that are specifically developed for this device, which probably are going to look a lot like the the apps that are developed for the the Microsoft platform. Now, you, um, as you know, there there have been leaks uh, about the interface, uh, showing the interface for this uh, phone for Normandy, and uh, everybody seems to agree that it looks pretty much like the uh, Windows Phone. Uh, user interface. I don't. I don't think it looks exactly that way, but I think it's curious that Nokia would do this, and also that they would um, come out with an Android phone just as the company is being sold uh, to Microsoft, just as the mobile uh, the mobile hardware division is being sold to Microsoft. Well, I mean, I think you know, I, I'm not sure if this was the optimal timing for them, but I think when you, you know when you're in a market and you need to to address that market and, and do what you've got to do. I mean, you've just got to do it, right? I mean, right. the, the, it takes a while to actually come out with the designs for these products and, and to develop them. So I don't think that it was really intentional that uh, this is coming out, you know, just as, as the deal is closing. I, I think it's more out of necessity. What's your opinion? Do you think Microsoft should, even though they're probably not going to get into the Android software business? Well, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, this makes sense from an economic standpoint, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, as we discussed already, the the reference designs for Android are, are much cheaper. It's, it's much cheaper to build uh, phones on Android than it is on the Windows phone platform. So um, when you're addressing the very low end of the, the market, I mean, these margins are, are, you know, paper thin here. So, you know, every penny counts. And I think it's a smart strategy. I mean, I'm not sure if it's going to work. <laughs> you know, it's a very competitive market at the low end. And you've got a lot of Chinese manufacturers in particular yeah. who are really addressing this market. Yeah, there's a lot of people going after the low end. And now we've recently learned that HTC is as well. It's crowded and no margins. It looks pretty grim for the low end. It's kind of curious that Nokia would be going after that. But it also seems like the high end is, is a tough market, too. That's so, right. <laughs> you know, it's like all around, I would not be someone who would want to be getting into the hardware business right now.